It has been a year of both achievements and challenges in terms of operational performance. 2023 saw us increase production by 2% and contain much of the effect of high inflation on our costs, despite facing a sharp cyclical downturn in PGMs and diamonds. Now against that backdrop, we are reducing the annual run rate costs by $1 billion and capital spend by $1.6 billion over the next three years, while also cutting out unprofitable volumes to focus primarily on value. This value over volume mindset represents our biggest margin lever to enhance returns. We are systemically reviewing our assets and will take further actions if we need to ensure they're competitive. We have also set out the difficult but necessary reconfiguration of our PGMs and Kumber operations to set them up on a far more sustainable footing, building on the recent 25% cost reduction from the consolidation of our senior head office roles around the world. Looking at an operational level, Quebeco, our flagship copper mine in Peru, ramped up to full production capacity, yielding 319,000 tons of copper for the year. And this is at a highly competitive unit cost of 111 cents per pound, positioning Quebeco as a major contributor to our portfolio in terms of both value and volume. Our Minas Rio iron ore operation in Brazil continued to excel, setting performance records over the year for high quality iron ore production. This achievement not only highlights its efficiency and productivity, but also its ability to consistently meet market demand for high quality iron ore, a key material in helping steel companies to improve their emissions. Kumba Iron Ore in South Africa also delivered very strong operational performance, however, its full potential was hindered by third-party rail constraints. In Chile, we put Los Bronces Copper Mine through a full review of its mining plan. This was aimed at improving its cost position during a phase of lower grades and harder ore. Similarly, in Australia, we took decisive steps to reset production plans at Morumba Steelmaking Coal Mine, particularly to accommodate new safety protocols and to address the challenges posed by difficult ground conditions. The performance of the Platinum Group Metals and De Beers businesses, although operationally robust, was heavily skewed by market dynamics, with both businesses experiencing cyclical lows, together accounting for a $5.5 billion decrease in revenue. Overall, our operational adjustments and the ability to navigate a complex range of macro factors emphasize the importance of agility, resilience, and cost efficiency in sustaining returns to support our long-term growth ambitions. Of course, we are not happy with current performance, and we are setting the business up once and for all to perform through the cycle.